Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about IC7493 counter. So IC7493 is a 16 bit counter. IC7493 is a 16 bit counter. It counts the number of clock pulses from 0 to 15. First one is it counts it counts 16 clock pulses that is 0 to 15 16 clock pulses that is 0 to 15 so whenever the 16th clock pulse occurred automatically the counter resets to 0 so, so whenever 16th clock pulse occurred the counter resets to zeros that means four zeros okay so first it starts from four zeros and then zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 one one so like that it goes up and one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero one 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 zero next triple one so when all the output bits are ones then automatically when the 16th clock pulse occurred then it goes to four zeros that means it is resetting simply to zeros again the process will be repeated this is a cyclic operation okay so the counter which counts 16 clock pulses is nothing but 7493 ic so the ic representation ic representation is like this so ic 7493 7493 is a counter so two clock pulses are needed clock a clock b here no connection q a q b uh, q a q d q a q d i will write once more q a Q D Q A Q D ground Q B Q C along with this we also have reset pins R1 and R2 and no connection power supply VCC no connection no connection so nc means no connection nc means no connection that pin is vacant so generally few ic's are having few vacant pins those pins are used for the future purpose okay if you want to uh, increase the circuit operation in the next level of fabrication then we are going for the usage of such particular nc pins no connection pins so no new output or new feature will be incorporated in that integrated circuit for the next design okay so the count we know very well so it is the clock pulse clock pulse q3 q2 q1 q0 so 0 zeros so first clock pulse so like this it goes up to 15 clock pulses so whenever the 16th clock pulse occurred again the counter resets to four zeros counter resets to four zeros okay so let us take the circuit diagram of this insert inside we have internal circuit diagram internal logic diagram 
So why I am saying logic diagram is it is simply characteristic of flip flops. So if you are going to the next level, then we can call it as a transistor level diagram or a schematic diagram. But whenever you are representing in terms of block, you should consider it as a logic diagram. So here the complete counter is designed with JK flip flops. So J K and another thing is it is an asynchronous counter. 7493 is an asynchronous counter. So in the asynchronous counter, we know one of the important points as the output of one flip flop acts as the clock input for the clock input for the next flip flops. So J K. So clock pin we have applied only at the input side clock this is the first output of the four flip flops so this is connected as the clock input for the next one and it is a falling gate clock signal again this output is connected as this one and this output q is connected as here bubble okay because clock clock pulse here we are having clock pulse is the bubble that represents uh, it simply acts uh, works when a negative clock pulse occurs negative going clock signal nothing but falling it nothing but falling it so the outputs all outputs we have taken separately along with the application of the output to the next flip flops. So this is Q bar, Q naught, Q1, Q2, Q3. So bar if you want to take bar is nothing but this line. This is Q3 bar, Q2 bar, Q1 bar, Q naught bar okay suppose if all the pins are ones then we need a reset pin simply all these reset pins are connected to one universal gate nand gate with inputs r0 and r1 with inputs r0 and r1 okay so in the next video, I will explain how to write a VHDL code for the uh, four bit down counter. Four bit down counter. <coughs> Thank you.